1963, the same year Bob Moog and Herb Deutsch were designing and building their modular synthesizer on the east coast of the United States, Ramon Sender and Morton Sabotnik, two experimental tape composers on the west coast, commissioned Don Buchlet to build an electronic instrument for live performance. And though these two teams designed very different instruments, they arrived at the same general place, a collection of analog modules that communicate via voltage control. But when Buchlet's creation was installed at the San Francisco Tape Music Center, Sabanek's initial glee was tempered somewhat by the realization they had forgotten a vital tool. Plug the output of one oscillator into the control input of another, and you got extreme pitch swings that were always at full strength. They would need a voltage processor, something to scale and process voltage signals. On the Mini Moog, the modulation wheel is a voltage processor. It takes our modulation signal, oscillator 3, and scales its amplitude, allowing us to get subtle vibrato instead of wild pitch swings. 